You're watching News24 Live. The Center for Conflict Resolution in Cape Town is hosting a dialogue on tackling the scourge of xenophobia in South Africa. One of the guest speakers, Catherine Masuva, who is an independent researcher at Stellenbosch University, has done her PhD on xenophobia. She joins us now in studio to discuss this topic further. Catherine, thanks very much for joining us this afternoon. Thank you for having me. Uh, first of all, something that I noticed, your, the other guest speakers, you've got um, representatives from the Somali Association of South Africa, the Eth Ethiopian community in Durban. Why these specific communities and not, say, representatives from the Zimbabwean community or the DRC? Are there certain groups of foreign nationals that are more under threat than others? Well, as you know, the various nationalities of migrants living in South Africa but some of those who really bore the brunt are those who run small businesses mm -hmm. and those nationalities are predominantly Somalis and Ethiopians. And my suspicion is that CCR thought that having representatives from these communities in light of the recent mm -hmm. violent uh, flare-ups would be able to bring the experiences of those particularly vulnerable groups of migrants. However, I am aware that CCR has previously invited uh, migrants from different communities in its previous dialogues mm. and probably is just opening it up to these, particular, to these two specific groups at the moment. Okay. Now, it's Africa Day today, so it's probably quite fitting that uh, you know, the CCR are, are hosting a, a dialogue of this nature. Wh what are you expecting to, to get from this dialogue? What kind of, what other issues? other issues do you foresee being raised? Well, as you say, because it's Africa Day, I expect uh, the discussions to speak to the issue from a more continental perspective mm. than there has probably been in the, f in the last few weeks and cause the participants to reflect more deeply on what it means to be African mm. and to recognize our common identity mm not just as South Africans or Ethiopians or Somalis or Kenyans, uh, but as Africans. And so I hope that at the end of the dialogue, people will feel a sense of responsibility and unity mm. as, as Africans going forward. 